I promise you won't be disappointed. Welcome home. Welcome to Bay Area Living Channel, where we bring you the best place to live and what to do in Silicon Valley. Hi, my name is Casey. We are a team of realtors here in the Bay Area. If you're thinking of moving out here, we'd love to find you a home. If you're thinking of selling your home, give us an opportunity to interview with you. Okay, today we're going to do a deep dive in the city of Fremont. So Fremont belonged to Alameda County. Why do you want to live in Fremont? Fremont has really good school district. Also, Fremont is, the location is pretty convenient where you can cross the bridge to go to Menlo Park and, you know, Palo Alto um, instead of living in San Jose and you have to cross a very busy 101. The bridge get pretty busy as well, but I do have friends that live in Fremont and they said the commute is just much better. Okay, so... Fremont offer a variety of houses. They have new, brand new condos, brand new townhomes. They have single family home where, you know, entry level single family home. If you want a really good school district, they do have really great school districts as well. And actually majority of families move to Fremont because of the school district. And then they do have this very luxurious, area up on the hill but the location is super convenient literally five minutes to costco to all the stores and they call mission so mission just offer a very beautiful living where the houses are very big they're about 2500 to 3000 square foot um but also it come with a pretty big price tag i had a friend and when she was shopping for a home, and this was, I would say, 25, 30 years ago, she was deciding between um, Cupertino or Mission. So they could not afford Cupertino at the time because I believe the home was maybe forty to $50,000 more. So they decided to buy Mission. And I believe they bought the home for $525,000 versus you know, $575,000 in Cupertino. And it turns out the area that they pick, which is Mission, it's so beautiful. They got a huge 3,000 square foot home and today they can actually sell it for $4 million. So it was a really good investment. Okay, let's jump into pricing. We're gonna talk about single family home, condos and town home as a whole. If you see me looking down, just looking at my notes. So. For single family home, median, which is medium pricing, the list price is around 1.494, 500. So that's the list price. And the sales price, of course, always higher. It's 1.525. And this is, we're talking about, you know, a very typical three bedroom or more, and then two bath home with a 5,000 plus square foot lot. Actually, three weeks ago, I personally put an offer on a property in Fremont for one of my clients, and it was crazy. <laughs> you're going to laugh if you're like from the East Coast or I don't know, the Midwest. The home was literally a little bit over a thousand square foot. They have this, you know, added square footage, it's like a sunroom. So it makes the home looks a little bit bigger, but still a thousand square foot. And the lot was about um, 5,000 square foot lot. Behind the property was the, um, the retainer wall for a very busy street. But surprisingly, the area was pretty quiet, you know, in the evening. And the comparable show that that home would probably sell around a million 80 comparable so for a million 20 and so we thought you know what let's just put in an offer for a million 120 which is much higher than the comparable which is a hundred thousand more than the comparable because the market is really hot here and pretty close to the price that you know i think how much it's going to worth and the clients are willing to bring in the cash to gap the difference 
in appraisal. That home sold for $1.3 million with 32 offers. We were so surprised. I was surprised myself because one, the home was very small in a small lot back to a busy street. And then 32 offer, that is insane. And it sold for $1.3 million, which is over $250,000 more than the last sold just a couple months prior. That is how crazy this market is in the Bay Area. So make sure when you're looking for your home, working with a professional or working with one of our team members or myself, we'll love to help you find the right home at the right price. Okay, the minimum price in Fremont for a single family home lists it at $788,888. Surprisingly, the sold price is $775. And I did look at this home that sold for $775. It's a fixer. Literally, you would get a teardown home and a lot sitting on a big lot. So what you're gonna do, it's great for developer or a, a very savvy first time home buyer that could do um, like a 10 to 12 month project when you just kind of tear down the old house and build a new house or you can build a new house on um, a, an addition to the old house and just add more square footage. The max price in Fremont, it listed at $4.6 million. And of course, these are the houses in the Mission area and they're pretty big. They're, you know, 25, 3,000, 3,500 square foot um, in a pretty big lot, I would say seven to 10,000 10, square foot lot, really great location, excellent school. And these houses actually like hidden inside, uh, built around a mountain. So you get beautiful scenery, fresh air. You get a lot of walk and trail into the mountain is absolutely gorgeous. And the sell price for the houses, surprisingly, it's 4.220. So, the interesting thing about the real estate market right now, and I heard from a lot of my uh, friends who also in the industry, that the regular market, which is, you know, 1.5, maybe up to 2 million, crazy. Multiple offers. If you have a home on the market, you'll get a lot of offers, people willing to pay over asking. But if you have a luxury home, which is mission, consider a luxury area, is suffering and the ultra luxury which is 10 plus million 11 12 15 million are super busy isn't it strange so i think because a lot of the buyers especially in the bay areas are tech workers and they make really good money i know some of my clients who work for tech companies they make really good money if they are a senior um two senior engineer you know a married couple they can bring in a lot of cash and they can afford up to two million dollars so that's why from i would say 1.3 to two million dollars you have a lot of competition because a lot of people could afford it and then up to a certain point which is 4.6 or maybe over five million dollars you let get a little less competition. And then the ultra luxury, I have never sold one, so I don't really know a lot about that market. Okay, so I'm grouping condos and townhome together. Um, the median pricing for condos and townhomes is listed at 772,500, and the sale price at 778. So still, you can still get a condo or a townhome for um, a little bit under 800000 In this case, I believe probably a two-bedroom condo or a one-bedroom condo, um, not brand new, not new construction. For a three-bedroom townhome with a little bit of yard, I think you're still going to look over a million dollars. For median price for condo and townhome is $425,000 and the sole price is 412, 
$425,000 would get you a probably one bedroom in condo um, in Fremont. I'm sorry. So a one bedroom. Still, I don't think you can get a new construction for $425,000. It's probably going to be something that was built in the 70s or the 80s. And then the max price, and this sounds about right, listed at one point six five for condos and townhome. Obviously, you can get a luxury condo or a three-bedroom townhome for one point six five, and the list price is around one point six five. So, in my experience, writing offers for client for Fremont condos and townhome, three-bedroom, two bath. You're probably looking at, I would say, one one to one six. That would be a livable price. And then for single family home, of course, it's a battle to get a good single family home. In my opinion, though, if you're going to live in a thousand square foot single family home, might as well buy a newer town home. Live in it for a couple of years, and I my recommendation is three and a half years. Sell it. And then buy your bigger and better single-family home. I hope this was helpful. If you're thinking of moving out to Fremont, give us a call. We'll love to share with you where to live and what to buy in this market.